Okay, today we are going to be talking about the absolute or ABS built-in function in Python 3. Looking at the docs, ABS returns the absolute value of a number. The argument may be an integer, a floating point number, or a complex number. For the sake of this tutorial, we're only going to be concerned with integers and floating point numbers, complex numbers, are a bit more of a engineering and hard math concept that's just out of the scope. I think what's valuable for uh, absolute values is to take a look at the Wikipedia definition. Uh, so an absolute value or absolute number is the real non-negative value without regards to its sign. And I think this becomes crystal clear when we put it in action. So let's go to our terminal, let's open up Python, and let's apply uh, this built-in function on a number. So the absolute value of seven is seven. Absolute value of negative seven is seven again because we're returning the number without regards to its sign. We're returning the absolute value. So those were integers. Let's take a look at floating point numbers. So we could look at, say, 701, 7.01 that is. We can look at negative. Again, we're returning the positive value uh, regardless of the sign. So I think we have an idea of what the ABS function does. And so when I look at new functions like this, new built-in functions, I think, how would I use this in a real uh, web development context? And what I could see myself doing is say I was given a list of uh, numbers that included both positive and negative numbers. So here we have one, two, three, negative one, two, three. So that's my list. And what if I actually wanted to convert this list to be all positive numbers? Well, one easy way to do that would be in, with a list comprehension in Python. Um, so we'll call this my new list and we'll use a list comprehension with the absolute function uh, in my list. Boom. So let's see what the outcome is here. Look at that. We have a list with all positive numbers and you can see how this could apply very easily when working with APIs and in other web development context. Thank you very much for watching.